Hello beautiful plant people. Welcome back to Rooting Mindfully. My name is Iana and today we're going to talk about thrips and how you deal with them in your plant collection. So what are thrips? Thrips are tiny black and brown slender bugs. They have a pointy tail, antennas, and wings in the back. This makes it very easily for them to multiply in your plant collection because they can crawl as well as fly from plant to plant. They can potentially decimate your plant collection if left unchecked. There are three stages in the life cycle of a thrip. You have the eggs, which are tiny black specks. There's the nymphs, which are tiny white or translucent larvae that are also found on the underside of the leaves as well as the adult which I previously described before. The life cycle of a thrip can take about two weeks from egg to adult which they usually start on the underside of your leaf and they generally move to the top side of your leaf once they reach adulthood. Once in, once in adulthood thrips live about 30 to 45 days so this is why you have to keep up on your your pest maintenance because the thrips live very long and you have to make sure that you are getting them in all stages of life to try to eradicate them from your plant collection. So where do thrips come from? Thrips are known to be a garden pest. They are normally found on your fruits and vegetables as well as, as cut flowers that come from outside and are brought inside to your home. They also fly in through your, your open windows and doors as well as they're so tiny enough that they can fit through the screen on your doors and windows. Thrips can also come in on your plants if you take your plants outside in the summer and you bring them back in for the fall and winter. They also can be found on plants that you find at nurseries or if you buy online or even import from overseas. So what do thrips eat? Thrips Suck the sap from your leaves, your stems, your flowers, and your buds. And this is why you see those signs of damage that most plant people get so nervous about. Oftentimes, the plants that are more threatened by thrips are your smaller or your weaker, less hardy plants, including your thinner leaf variety plants, the healthier, more mature, hardy plants, tend to be able to withstand the damage of your thrips. They seem to bounce back faster than other plants in your collection. So the signs of damage are yellow and brown stripes on your leaves, discoloration or fading on your leaves, parts of your leaves dying, buds on your flowers refusing to open, as well as deformed new growth or new growth that also refuses to open. So in treating thrips, what I found to work for me is to go ahead and spray off or wipe off the leaves first. In my opinion, neem oil did not help with thrips. I did try to start with neem oil since it's safer to have around for the, you know, your pets and your children and it's more a natural way to go. But the level of thrips that I had in my collection, neem oil just did not work. Now if you have a smaller thrip issue, neem oil might tend to work on those, but I found that it did not work for me. So what I did instead is I found this insecticidal soap, and this is Miracle Grow Nature's Care Insecticidal Soap. This is an organic ver variation of insecticidal soap, so this is safe to use around your pets and your children. And what I found is best is that if you look for products that specifically say that it will target thrips in the description those are more helpful than just you know a blanket product that you might find on the shelf i did try another version of insecticidal soap and i will enter a picture here i don't have that product anymore because i used it all up and it quite frankly it's not my favorite but whenever i do have a pest issue i do use this one this one is my favorite Unfortunately, it's not in the area where it's not in my immediate area, so I do have to drive a little bit further to be able to find it. Um, if you do have a more serious thrip infestation, you might have to use a systemic, which is this bonide houseplant systemic. 
and this is just powder or granules that you would put in your soil and you would use it according to the directions so depending on the size of your pot you would measure that out you would pour it on your soil you would mix it into the soil so it's about an inch or two into the soil and then you would water it in of course you don't want to use this if you just watered your plant because if you use this and then water your plant again you'll overwater it and you'll your plant will have another issue but so you will just wait till your plant dries out and then you'll go ahead and use this and this seems to last for your on your plant for up to two months so that way you know you'll have your plant will have some protection product does draw up from the roots of the plant and then when the drips try to suck on the plant they will you know die on contact as well as the thrips also die on contact with this insecticide now you don't want to use insectic these systemics too often because thrips are known to become chemical resistant over time so you only want to make sure you use this when you really have an infestation that you just can't get a hold of and that is really decimating your plant collection when you use these products mainly this insecticidal soap you want to make sure you use this every seven to ten days and just to keep checking your plant to make sure that you're getting all of the eggs and larvae on your plants as well as the adult and then if you use something like the systemic that'll take care of anything that could be happening in the soil as well neem oil for is just weekly maintenance so once you have your plant uh, infestation under control you can go ahead and use your neem oil on a weekly to bi-weekly basis just to maintain your plant collection and use it more as a preventative because I feel like that's more what neem oil is for because once you kind of have an infestation and it's kind of on the side where you it needs to be reined in I feel like you kind of need to pull out the heavier guns but I will make sure to use neem oil as more of a preventative slash maintenance afterwards. So I'm going to offer some tips in dealing with thrips or any kind of pests in your home. You want to make sure that you are scheduling weekly or bi-weekly inspections on your plants. And this might be easy if you go ahead and do this when you're watering your plants. You just want to make sure that you are turning over the bottom and looking at the top of the leaf. You want to make sure that you're spraying your plants if you're bringing them out from outside inside and if you're using products like this in neem oil you want to make sure that you're spraying the undersides the top of the leaves and the stem of the plant to make sure that you can get all areas in case there are pests hiding in the crooks and crannies you want to try to quarantine your plants as best as possible whether you are have a previous problem or you're bringing new plants into your collection and if also if you can when you're bringing in new plants into your collection make sure you quarantine them and spray them down if you have the ability to if you are bringing in fruits and vegetables or cut flowers from outside or from another garden center or things like that make sure you keep them away from your plants until you have taken care of those as well and like I said, you might want to just keep some neem oil in your collection for some preventative and weekly plant maintenance. So, so I hope this video was helpful. I know having house plant pests in your collection can be very stressful and overwhelming. But if you just take a deep breath and if you take the steps to go ahead and eradicate these plant pests or catch them early, you can catch them before they do serious damage to your plant collection. If you guys have any other questions about plant pests or any other pests that you have come across, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Also leave me a comment to let me know if you guys have dealt with thrips in your plant collection and what you have done to get rid of them or control them. And while we might not be able to completely eradicate pests from our plant collection at least we can make them more controllable so they just don't completely take over but like i said if you guys have any other questions or comments leave them in the comment section below please like and subscribe to my videos and hit the notification bell so you can know when i upload another video also i just joined facebook and twitter if you guys want to follow me there as well 
but I will put up another subscriber comment and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.